right now to get everybody up to speed uh, we have been to this job one time previously and the water maintenance guy told us that it was on inch and a quarter poly pipe we got there with the upsa daisy the electric pump puller and it was not on inch and a quarter black roll pipe it was in fact on inch and a quarter stick pvc so because we were told that we weren't able to pull it with the upsa daisy and we had to come back another day, which is gonna to be today, and bring our crane. So this will be uh, the first commercial job that I've done on this channel, and most of today's video will be shot through time-lapse, but um, throughout it, when I have time that I can uh, talk to y'all, I will do so. But um, our main focus of today is to work safely, because when you work with stick pipe, you're gonna get wet, things get slippery, and it's a lot of weight, dangerous things can happen. So my main focus will be pulling the pump. I will set my camera up on time-lapse, and uh, I'll bring you along with me and show you how we do it. So this is what the system looks like in here. We're kinda of inside of a concrete vault room, and uh, we gotta pull everything up through the uh, roof hatch. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Up on top of the building. Disconnect the hatch. I actually like this hatch. It's pretty cool. They almost don't have a big enough opening. Here. No, they almost do not have a big enough spot for us. I'm going to assume this goes backwards. Yay! And it doesn't even open all the way. Doesn't that suck? There we go. Um... Let me look.
Watch other guys just lift them and psh, like filling up a bucket and then yeah. they go dump the bucket.
Tell them to go down. Come down, 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 down. All right. He's a creeping. Y'all always shut up. Let's eat lunch. Yes, sir. It's time for lunch. Woo! Yeah, it's a 20-gallon minute pump. He originally told me it was a 50-gallon minute pump. And uh, I told him that a 50-gallon minute pump, 2 horsepower, was, uh, was not able to pump from 270 feet. And then he decided he was going to send me some paperwork and show me that it was a 20 gallon minute pump. So, luckily, I questioned that as soon as he said something. But uh, I think the backstory here is um, the guy who is a manager of all this took the place of another guy who was a manager for like 20 or 30 years. And the dude who had been here for 30 years didn't tell him anything. So, he basically now has to manage, I think, eight wells that feed the water tower for this town and uh, he don't know anything about them so the crazy thing is this pump let's see is a 18e22 so I'm gonna say it's a, it's a 2018 model he said it's only been in for two years but let's see yeah right there it says 18 so it's been in it's a three year old pump but yeah too, too young to be dying so soon. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a boombox check. See how deep the static level is. 67 foot. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. So yeah, it's not black, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> Definitely not black, bro. He told me it was poly, so I would do it. Because the other guy who put it in didn't want to come back out and replace it. Probably because since it's only uh, a 2018 model, he felt like maybe it should be under warranty. Ain't nobody going to cover a pump like this under warranty if it's their main supplier. Yeah. You can't. If it runs, you know, More let's just say if it runs 16 or 18 hours out of the day. And then do the math on it. I got enough. I got enough. Yeah, it's a lot of weight too. Huh? It's just, you know, millions of gallons. We just want to make sure we don't put the check valve in upside down. <laughs> yeah, that'd be him. <laughs> to pull it all back up, but... People have made stupider mistakes in the past. <laughs> Ain't gonna be me. Probably got a new cap in here somewhere. Yeah, they got enough crap in here. It could have been. Most of them have a little bitty the, metal device. The, the other sensor is is uh is on it. Yeah. Does it look like a uh, piece of uh, a brass nipple that's three inches long? Yeah. But well, it's stainless steel. It's a little red thing. Yeah, it's a little red thing. It looks like a weird little wire nut. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, they should have the uh, the on off separated by like sixty or eighty feet. Right. It doesn't give it enough runtime. No, it's. Uh, I'd say that's something more than thirty foot. Maximum. Yeah, okay, that's tight. Tight, 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 tight. Yeah, I see there's two in there, uh, sensor for Yeah. Breaking bad reference. So they go, okay, we're going to run Blue, it on a diamond. yellow, whatever, man. Just keep bringing me more of that. <laughs> I feel like uh, I got oh, you too much. I'm fighting the Okay, no problem. Thing. All right, we have got the new two horsepower pump on the line. Wires, tape, wires hooked up, ready to go. And it's time for us to start the journey of putting it back in. Yes, sir, fired up. Good. Don't go down. You're gonna have to 
come in here and, and drag this wire so it doesn't go over the case. Turn your pump dog around or right, your wood in. You're right. It's just at a weird angle. I can't even have it on going down. All right. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. So you ready to go down? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's hot. It's going down. The damn electric heater, you can't cut it off. Hey, hang on a sec. What? Just come out the <laughs> You gotta have the air tube so we can check the, the level of the water. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Like, why? All right, golf man. Get ready. Down periscope. to start letting it down put everything back the way it was
Yeah, we got water. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, look at the uh, look at the storm that has rolled in. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I had a uh, I had a pounding pounding migraine about the last 45 minutes of that job, and it got to the point where I started getting that uh, the salivation going on, and and you know you're about to vomit. And uh, yeah, it was real, real bad. So that's why I didn't really have much to say and much footage right there at the end. Um, I had uh, actually we left there and went to Dollar General and got me some Tylenol and some Advil. But basically, the storm rolled in, and and it's happened to me many times before, where the barometric pressure drops and then all that pressure in my head is just pounding, and it, it got to the point where uh, where I got nauseous and I couldn't think. But uh, other than that, we got the job done. I'm glad to be working with my father and working with Justin because, you know, when one person goes down, the rest of the people pick up their slack. So that's the beauty about working with people. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks y'all for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. See y'all next time.